And now we're looking of the landing of André Borschberg in a plane without a drop of fuel. The sun rose in Hawaii today, ushering in a new age in solar-powered flight. A historic first for aviation. Flying with no jet fuel, just the power of the sun, the Solar Impulse 2 was in the air for more than 117 hours, obliterating the record for longest solo flight without refueling. Nobody now can say that renewable energies cannot do the impossible. Swiss psychiatrist and adventurer Bertrand Picard started the project in 2003. He proposed an idea straight out of a Jules Verne novel, to fly around the world using no fossil fuel. Now all these technologies, of course, can be used also for ground mobility, for insulation of houses, for light. The lightweight plane is covered with 17,000 solar cells, which power the electric motors and charge the batteries. At night, it runs on those batteries, flying lower and slower to save power. The historic flight began Monday in Japan. It was the longest and most dangerous part of a 13-leg journey around the world. Confined in a small space for five days with only ocean beneath him, pilot André Borschberg took 20-minute naps and used yoga to stay alert. You must be exhausted. No, interestingly, not really. Uh, but I guess, you know, we got so much support during the flight from so many people. I got messages all the time in the cockpits. Uh, it gave me so much energy. With high-profile backers like Prince Albert of Monaco, the project's ultimate goal is to demonstrate the potential of renewable energy to inspire leaders at a UN summit on climate change in December. Next, we're going to have the first non-stop solar-powered flight around the world. The technology is going to get better. The planes are going to get bigger and faster. It's just like the Wright brothers, uh, you know, 70, 80 years ago. Having made history, the crew will now rest and celebrate. Soon, they'll be taking off again, chasing the sun, to complete their journey around the world. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.